Welcome to AI Late to Class. So tonight I'm going to show you Scale, which claims to deliver consistent 3D pose animation. This is similar to what we had seen with One Animate, Steady Dancer, and One to All animation, but overall better quality and the ability to look at the clip from a 3D perspective. In this video, I'll show you what you need to install for a low VRAM computer using a GGUF model, and I'll be comparing the other Pose animation models. So free up some more hard drive space and let's get into it. So you would have seen a bit of weirdness in my starting clip there. That's because I'm using this 14B preview model. We're still waiting for this 1.3 14B proper one, which will have stability and clarity, and it'll be long length generation. But anyway, let's look at the website for this. Here's our driving video here, where she's twirling around. Here's our reference image, and that's the result. Look at that bunny rabbit going round in a circle. It's an incredible result. Now look at this one here, very complex movements. Look at that result. Here's the technical details if you want to read that. Once again, it's built upon the one image to video model. I'm going to quickly show some samples here. Pretty amazing, the other products can't do anything like that. Here's some comparisons here. Just notice this one is housed in the middle. Over here. The end here. Now we don't have any version of Steady Dancer here or One to All animation, so I'll be doing my own comparisons with those. More complex motion here. And there's some more examples down the bottom here. I actually took this clip to use for our samples today. See, cartoons are really good. To get this going, you'll need Comfy Eye. If you haven't got that installed, watch this video here. To understand one animate, go and watch this video here and this version 2 video here. Steady Dancer, which is specific to dance videos, is on this video here. The pose node and models required for scale are on in this video here, three minutes in. I'll have that link in the comments so you can watch that and then go on to installing the model itself here's the scale preview model this is the ggf version so you can choose what your vram is if it's not so great use a q2 but if it's better use up to a q8 i'll have the fp8 model linked in the comments as well so you could use that which will be better quality if your vram can handle it once you've downloaded that model you know click this here then you can put it into your models folder in your diffusion models folder once you drag your workflow in, just the normal situation of putting in your driving video here and having your reference image here. Now notice with this driving video, I've got a bit of camera movement here. So when we come across over here and have a look, you can see how the character gets a bit bigger and warped. So that's caused problems with me with my output video. Make sure you choose a good driving video. I know this is the sample video from the website. But I guess it might be that this is the preview version. I don't know, but this isn't coming out too good. Looking down at our models, this is where we load our GGUF or FP8, whichever you've downloaded. Underneath, we've got the Light X2V LoRa. Put that in your LoRa's folder. I'll have the link in the comments to all of these models. Over here, our text encoder. Put that in there. And then our VAE over here. Got Clip Vision and Code, so we need another model here called Clip Vision H, which goes in your Clip Vision folder. Simple text prompt there, and then over here you've got your sizing. I've just done it at 512 by 512. Here's our sampler you can add in your Multi Talk or Uni 3C, etc. Got our six step because of our Light X2V LoRa. We've kept our shift at seven, and on this one we're just keeping our seed fixed. 
doesn't really matter. We can put that at random. And here's the output. Now he goes from small to big. And that's the problem where our camera moves. And that's what's making that issue there. Also his head seems to stay in one place while his body turns around. So I don't know if that's the preview version or not. Apart from that it has kept his facial consistency better than all of the others as we'll see in a minute. And it's got this turning without so much warping going on for a very complex spin. Now let's look at Steady Dancer's version of this. Facial consistency is really good. But however these arms are going all over the show. So it can't handle that complex spin. This is standard one animate. I haven't used the face detailer workflow. But when you look at this it's not very good at all. Look at that. Terrible. In one to all animation workflow. I couldn't get this particular clip working as a lot of other people have had problems with the frame rate and the resolution so I've used this other clip from the past. Yeah the camera movement's good in this but however his hair is not curly anymore and he's got the stick thing in his hand I don't know where he got that from so this is actually a really bad result. I feel with this 3D pose animation we're getting another step closer to true AI motion capture. Leave some comments, see what you think, if this model is better than the others. I think it is. Like, subscribe, watch all my old videos, and we'll see you in the next one.